So how about 10 of the best lighting add-ons in Blender? Hello guys and welcome back. In this video, I will share with you a number of add-ons to speed and level up your lighting process. This list will contain both free and paid add-ons, and I placed the free ones at the start. So let us see what we have here. At number 1, we have the Leo Moonlight Studio a tool that gives you a lot of control around adding light profiles on your object in studio lighting. Leo Moon is available on this site, and you can download it for free directly from GitHub, then get the zip file from there as in any other add-on. You also have the option to buy it and support the author. Still, Leo Moon is totally free. At number 2, we have the Blender Light Manager. This tool provides you with a light list and helpful controls to tweak your lighting using an f-stop scale, to more intuitively adjust the light by doubling or halving the light intensity. The add-on is available on Gumroad for free, so try it now. At number 3. We have the Sun Position add-on, one of the most essential add-ons for me in Blender. This one is shipped with the program, so no need to download anything. Just go to the add-ons section and enable it, the slides and tweak that this add-on provides will make you a pro lighter in no time. Coming at number 4. We have the Tri Light add on. This one will help you add three light sources around your object to lit it in a fast way. Tri Light is also shipped with Blender, so just switch it on, and if you select anything and go to the light menu, you will find it there with simple and easy controls, so just give it a try. With number 5, we have the Easy HDRI add-on. This one will help you better control your HDRI skies in Blender. Available on Gumroad for free, so download it and enable it inside Blender. Then just add any number of files to the add-on tab and from there on, you can just drop any of them and control it with sliders. So no switching tabs, with limiting any beginner's problems. And that's it for the free side, the remaining add-ons are paid tools, so let's see them. And by the way, I have no affiliations with any add-on on this list. At number 6 we have Photometric Lighting, developed by the CG Cookie Team, an amazing tool to help you manage your lights the right way, by controlling the lighting with measuring instead of the default eyeball method. This tool has a free version and you can get it on GitHub. But for the full experience you need to pay, and on this Blender Market page you can read all around the add-on and what it can do. At number 7, we have the Gobo's Light Textures. And if you're looking for next level realistic shadows, this is the one for you. You can visit the page on Blender Market and see all of the categories available there. We did make a similar tutorial regarding this topic, so you can also check it out if needed. The link for it should pop up in the top right corner. Coming at number 8. We have Lighter. This set of controls will make it super easy for you to control everything around your scene lighting. This one is more related to lighting models and products like cars or characters rather than scene environments. And you can read all about it on the download page before making a subscription. 
At number 9 we have the Pro Lighting Skies. This one is meant for outdoor scenes and can provide you with a collection of high quality HDRIs to speed up the process of lighting exterior environments. Available by the Blender Guru himself so check it out on the market for more information about this tool. Lastly, we have the physical starlight and atmosphere. This tool is around environmental lighting and not only on ground level, but with the entire atmosphere including procedural sky, sunlight control, and space, and it's all circling around light and gas in the atmosphere. So that's it guys, like the video if you're still here, and share with me your thoughts and comments down below, and as always, stay sharp, goodbye.